Did this shocking moment make Netflix pull the plug? Is it a bid to let a competitor show rise in the ranks? Find out here! If you're a fan of The Great British Bake Off, otherwise known as The Great British Baking Show, well, you'd better act quickly, because you've only got a little while to binge some of the earlier episodes of the show. Netflix have recently announced that they will soon be removing all 10 episodes of The Great British Baking Show, The Beginnings, from its service. The Beginnings is essentially a repackaging of Season 5 of The Great British Baking Show, which was broadcast in the United States by PBS in 2012. However, the show aired in the UK as the third season of The Great British Bake Off, so the people listed as Season 5 contestants on PBS are named as Season 3 competitors by IMDb. In other words, though, this is the season that John Waite won. Regardless, what Netflix now calls The Beginnings will end its run on American Netflix on New Year's Day. So if you've got a hankering for some old-school baking featuring the show's original lineup of judges and hosts, you'd better get cooking soon. Of course, why Netflix Netflix even feels the need to remove this version of the show from the platform can only be speculated upon. After all, the 10 episodes of The Great British Baking Show, The Beginnings, have IMDb ratings of 8.0 to 8.5 out of 10. So clearly, people enjoyed them. So why bother removing something that viewers might like to keep watching? Well, Netflix explains this best. On the site's help page, they say, though we strive to keep the titles you want to watch, some titles do leave Netflix because of licensing agreements. The site gives three possible reasons for this. There's an issue with the rights to the show, the show is not popular enough to warrant the cost, or the company has decided there are some seasonal or regional factors at play. In the case of The Great British Baking Show, The Beginnings, the season was licensed from PBS. This means that it could be a licensing issue that has made keeping the episodes too costly or unfeasible. Judging from fans' reactions, the rebranding of the earlier competitions as a spin-off seems to have worked in Netflix's favor. One Twitter user recently wrote, I'm re-watching The Beginnings because I heard it's leaving Netflix soon. Then I'll probably re-watch them all in Netflix's order. Another comment came from a fan who lamented, They're removing my favorite season! However, it's also possible that Team Netflix believes that there's no need to pay PBS if the streamer can recreate a similar magic with a new show. And, as it happens, they've got one. School of Chocolate School of Chocolate is even more wholesome than The Great British Bake Off in that it removes the elimination process in favor of celebrating the students' learning process. Still, while Netflix's new baking show might fill the void for a while, it won't replace the memories of Bake Off. Indeed, it appears that the show has provided a safety blanket of sorts for many fans during the upheaval of the pandemic. Arguably, the most infamous moment in the beginnings, however, came off as a little less wholesome. This is the moment that caused this season to be rated PG. Some fans began to notice this fact as they crammed the doomed season into last-minute viewing. One tweeted, So I just saw that The Beginnings is leaving Netflix in a month. So I hit play, and the first episode says rated PG for gore. I'm sorry, what? That's right, this season features an infamous moment in which a contestant accidentally injures himself. John Waite, who would go on to win the competition, gives himself a nasty cut, and things only escalate from there. Listen, the last thing you need to worry about right now is a strudel. In fairness, it was a heck of a lot of blood, so it's good to give viewers a warning if they're expecting little more than another baking romp in an English garden. If nothing else, though, this incident means that the beginnings will always hold the title of The Great British Bake Off's goriest season. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more mashed videos about your favorite food shows are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.